we have the heart. Um, transverse septum would be like down in here. This is a ventricle and this is an atria. And you have the um, conus arteriosus is up here. And the coronary artery runs along the side. And the uh, ventral aorta is gonna be like way up in there. You can see it. Around so you have your atria and your ventricles under it, coronary arteries, conus arteriosus, ventral aorta. The um, transverse septum's right there, and the sinus venosus would be kind of right there, where it um, the blood would collect. The transverse septum, atria, ventricle. Conus arteriosus, coronary artery, your afferent, Yes, yeah, so you have your afferent, brachial aorta, branchial aorta, arteries, and then those go through, and they're gonna run down here. You'd have a second collector loop, and then you'd have um, cross trunks as well, and then they run into the efferent branchial arteries. And then those are going to run, and you're going to have um, paired uh, dorsal aorta running up. You have your hyoidean artery right here, and your internal carotid arteries right here. Your efferent spiracular artery is right there. And then you would have a stapedial artery kind of branching off right here. You can't really see theirs very well. You have a pharyngoesophageal artery, which runs down right here. And so then you're going to run down here, and you're going to have a subclavian artery that's going to branch all the way off and go in here. And then you're going to branch down, and your first branch, after you get past the efferent wrinkles, is the coliac artery. And this one's broken, but it's gonna go all the way up and branch into the ovaries and either become the ovarian or testicular artery. And you can follow that all the way back through, and it's gonna end up right here. You can follow through, so this is the coliac artery. And then that's gonna branch off a bunch right here, where it's gonna become the um, gastric artery right here. The hepatic artery right here. Up here, it is the uh, gastrosplenic, and here it becomes the uh, pancreatico mesenteric, I believe. Or no, yeah. That pancreatico mesenteric artery up here, and down here it is the. We'll come back to it. It is the um, hepato pancreatic. Or, sorry, the gastrohepatic artery. So it's the gastrohepatic artery, and it's up here, and the pancreatic mesenteric artery, and it's right here. You have a pyloric artery going in the pyloric stomach right here. And then we can follow the veins down. This is a duodenal. Oh yeah, and the duodenal artery and vein right here. You can follow the veins down, and at the dorsal pancreas, the further down part would be the lineomesenteric artery, or the lineomesenteric vein, and it, you can kind of see it right there specifically, and then the pancreatic vein at the end of it. This would be the posterior intestinal artery and vein. You know, you can tell the difference because it has that branch right there. And the anterior intestinal artery and vein is right here on the other side. And then we just have the um, anterior mesenteric. What is that one? Where is this? Isn't 
You're gonna have the. There's some more. Yeah, there's not. More. Oh, I did not know there was a book over there. Yeah, it's one of them. Which is one over there. Yeah, you don't. Know. You have an anterior mesenteric artery is this first branch, and a gastro or gastrospinic artery is the next branch, and then down at the bottom you have a posterior mesenteric artery connected to your rectal gland.